Manchester United are burdened with a host of injuries coming out of the international break, many of which were sustained before the brief pause. Christian Eriksen, Donny van de Beek and Anthony Marshall are all long-term absentees while Alejandro Garnacho is set for a spell on the sidelines after picking up an ankle ligament injury against Southampton. During the same match, Casemiro picked up his second red card of the season and is serving a four-game domestic ban. He sat out his first game in the FA Cup win over Fulham, during which Marcus Rashford sustained a knock that ruled him out of England duty. To rub salt into the wounds, Marcel Sabitzer is now also carrying a knee problem, according to Austria head coach and ex-United interim boss Ralf Rangnick. United will go into a crucial match against Newcastle on Sunday at less than full strength, but how stretched the squad is remains unknown. A win for Newcastle at St James's Park on Sunday will see them leapfrog United into third on goal difference. The Magpies will be out for revenge following last month's Carabao Cup final loss and United can expect a brutal encounter as the race for the top four intensifies. Sabitzer and Rashford could be fit in time while United fans await an update on other players, albeit they know Van de Beek's season is over. Raphael Varane travelled over to Paris for France's Euro 2024 qualifying win over the Netherlands but this time watched from the stands. The 29-year-old announced his retirement from international football in February, just over a month after suffering World Cup final heartbreak against Argentina in Qatar. Varane's bow was a disappointment for Les Blues boss Didier Deschamps but great news for Eric Ten Hag. The defender has endured significant time on the treatment table since his 2021 arrival and almost missed the World Cup due to a knee knock that left him trudging off the Stamford Bridge pitch in tears. His new United boss has often taken the chance to rest him when the chance presents itself and so Varane's decision to back down from France duty means he's had time to recharge again this weekend. His first period of international rest comes at a crucial time for United. The Reds face Brentford, Everton and Nottingham Forest in the league after Newcastle amid a Europa League quarterfinal clash with Sevilla and an FA Cup semi-final against Brighton. United will be expected to win most, if not all, of those games but each carries more importance as the run-in gathers pace. While not ideal, Lissandro Martinez can be covered by Luke Shaw as the left-sided centre-back but Varane's replacements, namely Victor Lindelof, have at times struggled when brought into the team. The last thing United need is another injury in a key area and to a key player, so Varane's decision to retire from France duty has eased a headache for Ten Hag. He'll be glad Varane is fit to face Newcastle, against whom he has kept two clean sheets already this season. Now